mastery workout in this week we concentrate on getting your goals right so remember that you need to set goals that are achievable timely and we really want you to commit to training with us for eight weeks that's one of the most important things so first we have you guys fill out a wellness routine which gives us your goal setting what you're going to do that day it looks at your hydration your food diary um, your top five to do's as well as your mindset, fitness, and nutrition goal over these eight weeks. We'd love for you to jump in. If, even if you didn't do our first 30-day challenge, we'll send you out a personalized nutrition plan just for you, and follow along each week. We've got amazing workouts. Now, this week's workout is an advanced workout. Some of the guys in the gym did 12 rounds of what I'm about to show you. However, you could also just do six. You're going to have a timer like the one that's on behind me. I'll drop the link below in this work in this video. It's just on YouTube. You can easily look it up. It's called a three minute timer with a 60 second break. So we've got three minutes of exercise today. That's the longest amount of exercise we've done with a 60 second break. Sonny's getting tired, I can tell, because his hands are going like this. He just finished the workout, so I'll speed things up. Let's get to the first exercise. Number one, we've got our heavy bag lunches. The 12 rounds is, it, it is boxing inspired. So we're gonna be doing our big combo. Combo. We've got a jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Remember to breathe during those punches. After that's done, we're incorporating our legs. One, two. Again, jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Make sure that you breathe while you're punching. One, two. Um, the workout will be posted if you get confused about what your combo is. Just do straights and add in those squats. That's for three minutes with a 60 second break. After that, keep your gloves on. You're gonna be working out with a partner. So if you have a partner here, you're gonna be doing combos that the partner's going to call out. For example, on the board, we've got 10 punches to what do we have? 10 punches to two push-ups. So with your gloves on, you're going to go over to a bench like so and do 10 punches with your partner or with the heavy bag if no one's here. With your gloves on, wrist like this. Nice neutral spine coming down. One, two, power up, back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you want to switch things up, you can go into five squats and then go into more punches as you go. Three minutes of boxing again. That's gonna be your cardio and your strength combined. Next we move into, and this is a toughie, dumbbell thrusters for three minutes. Really important on your positioning in this one. We want our wrists to be protected, so we don't have it like this. Make sure our wrists are nice and strong. It's just a thruster, so we're not going fully into a squat, just slightly down, use your legs to power it up, breathe out as you push up. If you get tired, bring it down, roll the shoulders back and down, take a break, pace yourself, it's three minutes. Choose a weight that you can do for three minutes, so go quite light on that one, it is very difficult. Next, we've got our cardio component. Come on over. We're going, going to go into either the row machine or the ski erg. We've got Kuche over demonstrating the ski erg. A great job right now. He's going for three minutes on the ski erg. Notice that he's using his legs in the squat. He's coming right over top, really digging down like we're skiing over in Canada, and back up. So we're going down, back up. Use our glutes. Excellent job. You guys know the concept too, or the rower? That's your other option. So if you don't want to use the skier, we're going to be jumping on the rowing machine. Make sure that we strap ourselves in. Pressing menu so that we can see how far we go. So on the screen right now, I've got meters. So Sunny, I'll just have you show this if that's okay. We've got meters. As you can see, once I start pulling, 
that's going to start the meters. And I've got the timer playing behind me, so I'm going to see how far I can get in three meters. It's okay three to show minutes. my technique now, or three minutes, sorry. <laughs> how many meters I can get in three minutes. Remember that we're using our legs. It's a leg focused exercise. Legs, 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 pull back. Use a bit of the back. Breathe out as you pull. Go nice and strong, but pace yourself over those three minutes. Remember, we get a 60 second break in between exercises. Finally, we've got our Elevate Core Machine, our Total Gym Row Core Machine. If you don't have this, I've got an alternative exercise as well. We're going to have it on the second lowest setting, bringing our arms up onto the core machine, knees against the bench, and we're going to be pulling up, breathing out as you pull up. Pace yourself for three minutes. If that's difficult, what I'll have you do is grab the Camagon. If that gets tiring, you can stop and go into Roman twists. I've added in a press up overhead. So in this exercise, we're going to be twisting with a uh, med ball, kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever you like as a weight. So we're going from one side to the other side, into the middle, and then pressing up. That gets hard, put our heels down, and just finish it off the best that you can. Take a break if you need it. Lastly, we've got our pull exercise. And today we're using our bar with the cricket straps. You can use the handle cricket straps as well. If you don't have these, in this position, we're going to be doing five pulls. So we're going one, two, three, all the way to five, then taking a step back, going down into the squat, one, two, like a frog jump, back into the pulls, one, two, all the way up to five, into the squats, one, two, and then five more pulls. Continue for a full three minutes, and then at the end of that, give yourself a two minute break of rest, and you're doing the round again. So that equals 12 rounds in total. Six exercises, 12 rounds. Make sure that you leave enough time in your workout that you're able to do a cool down stretch. So jump on the bike or the treadmill, get rid of that lactic acid buildup, then jump down, grab the bands and make sure you do a band stretch because you will feel this this is week one 12 rounds of your eight week wellness challenge we want everybody to be participating in this all you have to do is commit to eight weeks with us we're also having everybody have a, a partner when they're training so um, we want to make sure that you're, you've got an accountability partner that's going to be making sure you train over these eight weeks. Another person from Vulcan, or it could be a family member or friend. So get ready, join in, nutrition plan, eight weeks of training. Here we go, guys. Thank you. Have a great time.